Hi, Angela Arnold here, and today we're going to take a look at Google, Google Maps, the element that's available to us through Weebly. Um, again, I'm going to go to my website. I'm just going to drag and drop the element onto my web page, and basically you see a map come up. If I click onto the map, it gives me some options. Basically, I can set, set a city or state or address here that I want to display. I can tell them what size I want the map to be. Right now, the default is medium. I can go to small. See how that looks. Let's look at how large looks. Okay, that's a little bit larger. I can decide whether it should be left, right, or center justified. I'm going to put it in the center. There's a little icon that would uh, indicate the address that we've listed with them. That's the show marker at the address or do not show marker. And I can zoom or unzoom. So I don't use this uh, element because I don't have a bricks and mortar store. Um, but I guess that would be excellent if you want to have somebody uh, be able to see your location on a map so that they can arrive at your store or business uh, to uh, do business with you. Or if you want somebody to get directions, that's easy for them to know from looking at this map. And you can also do that with Google Maps. Like I say, I don't use the element, but I know it's very important for people who have a bricks and mortar store. That's it for uh, the Google Maps element. Now we're going to go on to revenue, which all of us want to know a little bit more about. Take care. I'll see you on the other side.